Let's write a C program to understand the difference between macros with arguments and a simple function call. So I'll define a macro called pi. Uh, m underscore pi value will be shown only if you include math.h library. So if you now write math underscore pi, a tooltip will appear. Let me open this file and copy the value of pi here. For more accuracy, I am doing this. So it is a macro definition too. So now let us remove all these things and define our macro pi. So pi is macro template and this value of pi is macro expansion. Now let me define a macro with an argument macro of r which will be expanded to pi into r into r. This is macro expansion by the way. I am using pi value inside this macro definition. So now I'll take a floating point variable r and ask the user to enter the value of that is radius of a circle and store it inside the address of floating point variable r. Now let me let me output the result onto the console window. So area of circle using macro is percentage f so the result the returning result will be floating point value or double so so here i am calling this or writing the macro template and passing it a value of r so in the next line area of circle using function is now i'll call a function let us name it area circle underscore area which we need to define now so it takes an argument of type float so let me write float f l o a t r let me even mention the return type which is double in this case so let me return the result or the let me write the formula inside this that is pi r square that is pi into r into r so let me not use macro here let me directly copy this value and write it here so inside the function we are not using any macro let us even write the prototype for this function definition optionally we could remove this variable name with that we can we can just cut this function definition and paste it anywhere outside the main method i prefer to write it here so function call takes the control to this inside this function it calculates everything and returns a meaningful result back to the calling function whereas in a macro in case of a macro this macro template will be replaced by this macro definition or macro expansion sorry so let me write that so this is the macro expansion of area of r so micro expansion of pi is this value. So this gets replaced before compilation of the program, which is called pre-processing. So even if your macro template is present in 100 places inside the program, everything will be replaced by macro expansion before uh, the program or the source code is passed to the compiler for compilation. So that's why the program size increases because macro template will be replaced by macro expansion in all the places whereas in function call there is only one function definition and if you use these function call in 100 places it will simply call it and take the result back from the function so if radius is 5 we get the same result for both macros with function as well as for function calls so so the only difference or the trade-off i can call it as trade-off between these using macros with arguments and function call is um, macros are faster because the logic is already expanded inside the source code itself so it's faster in while executing whereas in function call it calls the function the inside the function there is logic it needs to it needs to calculate and return a meaningful result back to the calling function so the so the execution time may be slower in case of function calls in case of macros it will be faster but the program size will increase or the memory size will increase with macros so you need to 
see where it's useful. If you are programming for a mobile device where memory is scarce, better go with function calls or else you can simply write macros if it's a simple program and it won't increase the memories. It won't require much of your device's memory. So that's it, the difference between macros with arguments and function calls, though the result of both will, will be same. Okay, so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on your uh, chat apps like WhatsApp, Telegram or else social media sites like uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook etc. And, and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.